Hello guys, it is March and 108 here. Today we're going to do an interview with the co-owner of uh, Scholarship Affairs. Um, first question, why, why did you choose scholarships? Like, why did you choose um, school? <laughs> well, I want to start by saying thank you for having me on your channel. I want to say I appreciate what you do. I feel that you're a young man who is doing the best he can uh, to contribute to the world. And for that, uh, honestly, I appreciate your effort. I see you and I do, uh, I, I follow your work, uh, your, your work quite closely. I do feel that you have a lot to offer the world. Uh, to answer your question, how did it all begin? Scholarship Affairs, uh, that's a good question. So, uh, like you know, we, uh, I'm an international student, or I used to be, I still am anyways, I'm still in school. But anyways, uh, it started from when I moved there from Nigeria, you know, I went to study in the U.S., uh, in Minnesota, uh, for my bachelor's. And then, of course, uh, still went there for a little bit for my master's before I moved. And I just realized that it was uh, it was something that, a lot of students were struggling with, especially international students, you know, trying to find uh, scholarship opportunities like funding for their education. Oh, yeah. As you know, uh, even though local students may have access to applying to uh, for, for, uh, funds like you know loans and what have you, but a lot of uh, international students can't. So you are left with either work paying off, you know, college and through your you know, your you know, paying by your own means or you know, finding scholarships. So I figured that one of the things I could do was find a way to get scholarships. And when I moved there here in Canada, I decided that okay, you know, it would be a good thing to provide the same platform for other people with scholarships. Yeah. Um and um I was thinking if we could take a look at your website, scholarship affairs. Sure. Um Okay, there's a little bit delay, but um, yeah, so um, here it is. It's very good website. Um, link will be down below in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, wow, you, what a good website you have going here. Thank you. It's still, uh, we're still working on it there. We're, we're trying to, um, we're basically, myself and the co-founder, uh, we're trying to do some some more work on it, like because you know the the world of scholarship is very dynamic, meaning it's always changing. Just because sometimes you have some scholarships that are offered one year, they may not be offered the next. Sometimes it's one semester, so it's very dynamic. You always have to update stuff. And beyond scholarships, we also try to talk about student affairs, like things that are affecting students, things that are affecting you know schooling or academic world. So and that means if you go on the website, you are likely to find stuff about stu uh, students and stuff like boarding room or you know how much it will cost to go to one college versus the other and things like that. So we try to broaden the uh, information that the student gets. So you have to understand that some people may not be like uh, prior their priority may not be scholarships, but they may want other information like they want to go to dental uh, school or whatever. They want to go study surgery and they need information about where to go right so we try to make it very broad. that's actually very awesome so do mm. you get this information when you do do you um do you so you do some live videos on facebook right yes we try to do live uh because you know facebook has that platform where you can go live when we go somewhere or we go to like a program you know whether on campus off campus or just going for a walk and stuff like that, we try to uh, engage our people just let them know what's what life is like here in Canada, and uh, we try to go live as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get the? Do you get? Uh, do you, like? <clears throat> like you said, if they're like um, wanting to be uh, maybe a 
doctor or a nurse, uh, if they, if it's a, would you, how would you do that? Yes, that's a good question. So because uh, there's a lot of ways to go about studying, right? Uh, for instance, the way the standard of education, the way it is, like if you wanted to go study, uh, let's say medicine, for instance, in one college, one university, maybe different from the other. Like if you were doing it in the state, to pass us Canada, for instance, or if you were, let's say, a school like uh, UBC, for instance, there are criteria, the things that they want you to attain, may be different from if you're doing it at uh, USC, which is a uh, university of uh, Southern California in uh, in the US. So it's all different, right? So it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, for what I've found, especially being a student, is that the systems are all different. Every school is different. Uh, for instance, one big difference between studying here in Canada versus the US is the fact that here in BC, you know, there's a, a uh, you know, the grading system, you still can get like an A plus, you know, and, you know, that's different for the states because I know they don't have that. You know, usually like, you know, between eight, uh, 90 and 100, that's A, right? But if you get like 89 over there, will be considered a B. So that's some of those things. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of other things to watch out for, but I think it's a very good platform a student can go. And we, we actually are trying to get more stuff. We're trying to create a forum where people can go and talk about stuff and, it's actually going to be really bigger than this in, in a few months. Wow. And can I please mention that um, <clears throat> Scholarship Affairs on Facebook group has more than 71,000 members. That's very nice. Thank you for mentioning. Yeah, over 70,000 uh, people are uh, coming together to talk about scholarship, looking for scholarships mm -hmm. and just sharing. And I think it's a, it's a platform that is very helpful. We provide lots of value. Uh, we invite other people to come on there and talk about their scholarships or if they have something to share or if they are looking for scholarship, give them a, a place where they can express themselves, a safe place where they can share information and share values between one another. Wow, that's awesome. Um, thank you for joining us today. It was so fun to ask you these questions. Um, so, yeah. Like, I really hope everybody who's watching this right now would visit your website and um, hopefully they'll like it. So, yeah, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me. <laughs> thank you. See you, see you guys. And um, we, we, this, we might make some more interviews with some other people. And bye.